What up, though, homies and homies? It's your homeboy, Grand Tizzle. Dang, man, that sounds funny saying that. I haven't seen it for so long. It's just, it's like I'm, it's, I'm hypnotized myself. But anyway, fam, welcome back to another exciting and fun tutorial. Something new that you're going to learn. Something that you can put in your backpack, your arsenal, so that you can uh, make that money, get that shmoney, and um, be the go-to guy in your place or your online uh, as the guy that, you know, go get to work from. Now, in the last tutorial, uh, you see we built this from ground up. It took us about 45 minutes, but we're going to attempt to do another one uh, in a very small amount of time. And the primary thing we're going to really be concentrating on is how we can actually use this as a placeholder, or should I say a template. So as you look over here, you see that I made a text folder. So what I did was took all the text that I already made, dumped it in here. All right. And that way we can keep our text and we'll see how this works out for us um, after we do this tutorial. So we can kind of block all these out. And matter of fact, I didn't even say this. You know what I mean? That's my stupidity. So let me go ahead and save this for you guys. And um, you can use this as a template, of course. And then after we create the other one, you can use that as a template. Or you can use it as a way to freak and tweak and kind of twerk your own style. All right. So let me go ahead and save this real quick. All right, fam. I got that boy boy saved up. Now let's go ahead and kind of start deleting all this stuff. And um, get a clean slate to start from scratch. Okay, so we're going to keep the words there and uh, we're going to build and develop an entire new uh, setup here. So let's go ahead and find a file to work with and uh, maybe, let's see, we want to use a mail here. So let's go, let's see if I got some celebrities that's already open or already cut out. F50. The real good, your man. Stand up. Um, the real Rick Ross. Stand up. All right. Maybe Wale. Why Wale T? You know, I don't know. Look at Young Buck looking real suspect. Okay, so um, uh, I should use Wale. Uh, I'm using Wale because um, because of his pose. I'm actually here, kind of like that Rick Ross. Let's try him. Oh, I don't really like the quality of that Rick Ross here. Let's um. Let's find somebody else. Uh, let's try this guy here. Get okay, still relevant, yeah. Okay. Um, now we're gonna kind of go with like a gold theme, just a yellow theme. Um, kind of make him like black and white. All right. So uh, let's see what what we can do with uh, with the fonts we already got here. Uh, what I'm gonna do is yeah. I'm going to make the background black, but I'm going to keep the other background white, and then it, it can just be interchangeable. So I'm going to paint it black. Oh, I didn't know he was not uh, selected. Let's just go ahead and quickly remove his background here. And uh, let's rasterize it and delete that. Okay. All right, um, let's pull this up and see what fonts we're working with. Okay. So, yeah, let me kind of just, so we can see all the fonts on the board. Okay, cool. All right, so let's, um, let's actually drag all these out. I'm gonna drag them out, boom. So now they separate. And uh, maybe we can, well, 
Yeah, I guess we can keep them all on the board. Uh, what I'm going to do is kind of just start placing things places, right? So let's do the, um, well, let's first make the entire thing. So let's go ahead and we deselect that. And basically, I'm just showing you how you can kind of, this will kind of be like a cheat. You know what I mean? So let's go ahead and do something like that. And um, we're kind of get something going on here with him, right? We'll make him part of the thing here. So we'll do something like so. And the rest of the stuff can kind of just move. We can just move it out the way. We're gonna be pulling it back up later, right? Putting it in different places. But uh, we're gonna kind of just build, uh, you know, build this thing together. So we just say, um, we'll call this, um, I don't know, oh, I forgot about that draw. Okay. You're just going to have to start this from scratch fresh. Cause I had, um, what I do, I had tilted. So when you tilt it, I can't untilt it. So yeah, we just got to start scratch. I mean, um, fresh. But I want to do something like, um, like, um, big dog, big birthday, um, something kind of big and bold. Yeah. So we still got all the other board, I mean, um, all the other fonts on the table. So we is not all the way at a loss. You know what I mean? Um, okay, on this one, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna kind of just stay. Let's see what this does. Okay, so we'll do something like big homie. That's always, you know what I mean? Like everybody, everybody big homie, right? Yes. And it's just for the big, you know, it's, it's, it's just a big homie party, period, right? And, um,. Let's see if we can construct that in a way where it can have some cool balance. Now you see here, right here, this is a problem. So sometimes I like to, um, cause sometimes the fonts kind of come out, you know, have this funny little thing to it. So sometimes you gotta individually go in there and adjust things. Okay, that's cool. All right. All right, and then uh, we gotta make sure that this font is Pretty much doing the same thing for lack of better words. So we'll squeeze that. Okay. And uh, let me make sure. Oh, okay. All right. And um, you probably. I want, I want it a little tighter. So maybe, maybe we can shrink homie down a little bit. So we can kind of have, you know, like some type of um, thing going on. Uh, let's shrink this down for balance. Even though the big is bigger than the homie, uh, you know, if we could shrink it a little bit, you know what I'm saying, kind of give it some space and some noise or whatever. All right, and uh, let's change the fronts here for now to white. So we can kind of, we're going to go in there and really get gritty with uh, with that. And um, I'm going to show you some other things that uh, I like to do in After Effects. 
Um, but this is cool for now. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna come back to address that. So um, this is good, big homie. Let's take him and uh, we're gonna desaturate him and make him black and white there. Um, we we'll just desaturate. Okay, that's cool. And then we'll and then we'll kind of we'll kind of pop them a little bit. So we'll do some adjustment layers and you know I will cartoonize them if you know what I mean like if I had like a little time or whatever. But um you know we've been on been on this ten minutes so far already. Let's see. Plus I don't even have the I don't even have it in here. See. Where's my, um, yeah, I don't even know what my effects is. Okay, no, no problem, no problem. All right, so, um, so we'll have them here. Now, the thing about this one here, let's see, we're going to go ahead and take this diamond dog and um, we're gonna just add it there, right? and kind of just put things in different places, right? So since it's already there, yeah, we'll uh, change that. This will, this will play the same thing. Mm, and um, we'll do some business with that. Let, let's see what happens if we change the font up. Mm, something a little different, let's see here. Uh, let's try something a little bit more. More kind of not so roundish. Okay. All right. So now I'm doing all this for a reason. You'll you see in a second um, what we're going to be doing here. Um, now let me take something else here. Let's say event flyer and we can possibly let's let's put it right there and move these girls up here we're going to maybe change that to something all right and um maybe even this and um uh, let's say this all right and uh let's see here We can take this here. No, let's take this and put it like here. And um, hmm, let's take Finks, put Finks up here. Okay. Now we got a little something, not, but we're gonna make it even more special, right? We're gonna make it even more special, but I'm gonna show you, just bear with me. So we hit enter, just kinda so we can have a little, like really have a little build going on there. And um, something I like to do, <clears throat> let's, no, we're not gonna worry about that. Let's take this and I'm gonna hold, shift click that wings dj homie him big uh presents dj sphinx sphinx and watch this let's shrink it right let's tilt them boom boom See that? Oh, no, no, no. It gets better than this. Don't even trip. Oh, it's, it's about to get better. Trust. Okay. So now we got that. And, um, here, let's take that, this, and that. And, um, let's shrink this. And, of course, we'll tilt this too. Now, I, sh I really should have tilted everything, but the thing about it is, everything is not going to be tilted. But that's really high energy there. You see that? Real high energy. Let's zoom that in a little more because 
that ain't really there you go we got to get perfect with that okay cool all right and then we'll put that like i don't know we'll figure somewhere for that yeah or maybe that i don't know we'll figure it out but anyway so we got that you know we got the remy thing we got the advert thing and um sponsors and yeah we're going to put them down there and we're going to tilt that too but this was the main thing here so now what we want to do from this point um before we start kind of adding the background we're going to almost kind of pre-decorate the uh the, the, the text and things like that so let's go in here to our layers and um kind of just start building on it um we'll give it a Give it a little stroke. Let's um, give it a great stroke here. And, um, I don't know, just play with it. we we'll give it a little, little thingy there, you know. Uh, let it go in there and do its crazy thing. Uh, maybe make, make the tap a little thicker. All right. Size. Play with the size a little bit. Okay, that's kind of cool. And uh, let's see, do some couture. All right, we do some texture. I don't know if I like the texture, but uh, let's see. Yes. Nope, don't like the texture, but the couture is cool. Let's see, let's make sure. Okay, yeah. Range. Okay. And what else? Just see if we can do a little something, a little something different. Nope, nope, that's simple. Okay, that's cool. All right, and um, let me go back to this and see if. See if we maybe toy around a little bit. I think um, I think we're gonna just kind of do this here. And really, if we move this around, we can get more out of this here. Let's um, no, we want you on the edge, bro. Okay, but I, I really want here. We need to actually do this like normal because I want something on the side too here. No, not the middle. All right. All right. That's decent. Let's see. There we go. Because I'm really trying to get something kind of going on around there. Um, okay. And uh, we'll keep it, uh, let's, let me see. What happens if we put a drop shadow there? Put a drop shadow. Yeah, that's good. Probably not gonna be seen when I'm like completely done, but that's decent. And uh, we'll simply uh, right click and we'll copy that layer style and we'll pin it to homie. So let's right click and then we'll paste. All right, and we got a little something something okay and now um we can also paste it to diamond dog but we're gonna make some minor adjustments to that one um because as you see because the font is little it can't take the same stroke sizes and stuff like that um but we will keep it in the same neighborhood of what we got going on here so that being said um like the drop shadows don't have to be that big. All right, and um, the couture here, we got, do we need that? Mm. Let's see if I can, um,
that might be cool. Maybe I can pull us some at the top. Tie it a little bit at the bottom. That's cool um, because we're going to be putting a lot of madness in there. So the madness I want to do is primarily going to be some, some decent background, um, decent background information. So let's see here. So I want to try, um, I want to try something here. Uh, we're going to put a yellow, like a yellow texture behind there, and then we're going to beat it up. So I'll show you what I'm talking about in a second. So let's um, copy something from Google and we'll paste it. And uh, just kind of just blow it up. And uh, don't worry about it looking too cute. We're going to beat it up. So how we're going to beat it up is we're going to go back to our paint brushes and um, pick out some black paint it's gonna be black and yellow so let's get our paint brushes here make a few spills make a few dabs here we got a lot right here so let's um, double click on this one and um, let's shrink it down uh, let's get our black black is already selected so let's kind of just start oops now it's supposed to be sure it's supposed to be sharper than that so okay there we go uh, I need a more high definition brush so we got that one let's let's see what this does here okay okay <clears throat> that's good and And uh, let's try to get maybe a few different other variety of brushes here. And we're just gonna beat it up. So um, the beat up is going to be based off of, or should I say the locations we're gonna beat it up. It's gonna be based off. So let's go ahead and okay, let, me, let me create another layer here. Cause this whole section need to be beat up. We got that, and um, I can afford to do that. Hey, oops, no, I can't. Right, that, and um, I can kind of straighten some things up on the fly as I go. Let's see if we can utilize this brush anywhere else. Um, maybe directly behind his head. Now we'll come back in there and kind of tighten some things up. And um, if it sounds like I got a cold, it's because I do. Okay, so um, I'll shrink that down. I just like to be transparent with everybody. <clears throat> you know, because um, I'm imperfect. And when you're imperfect, it's just funner to just be real, right? Because I'm not perfect. If I was perfect, then I have a really hard time. But since I'm not perfect, it's just way better to just keep it real. Okay, fam. So we got that. Now let me go ahead and uh, add another little drama right here. Bop, 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 bop. Um, and then maybe we can add a little something, something here. Let me turn this brush so I can get some other little strokes because I want to get some strokes on them edges <clears throat> and then I'm gonna also show y'all how we're gonna treat the yellow as they got their own strokes right so let's see here um let's uh, see what this does okay that's nice and we will use that these for the edges sweet awesome live Boom, 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 boom. Um, beautiful. Mm, maybe this one. Okay. And uh, kind of filling these little gaps here. 
What else here? All right, so we're on a little something, something, right? We need a uh, one long stroke um, behind this font up here. We got. So let's see if I can get maybe this brush. That's not quite a long stroke, and I think I got some other ones. I hate when I, I, I hate saying long stroke. <laughs> You know what I mean? Okay. Um. Okay, I think these are actually the same brushes, but I'll try something different. Okay, there we go. Better. Let's get here and uh, let's let's turn it. Okay, beautiful. So um, we'll shrink this down here and we'll make this, you know one of the little things and then we got to go back and get that font because we didn't just made it disappear did we not right and i'm gonna have to figure out um what that was that was big time presents right yes so let's uh select it and uh we can make sure that that's uh white so it can be seen and that's perfect okay so uh so we got some things happening here right um I would like to shrink that down a little bit, but it's, you can't move it much now. So I'll kind of put into play. Okay, and uh, you know, maybe we can now move this this information up here. And of course, I'm gonna want to change that. Uh, it's matter that I didn't change. There you go. All right. And, um, you know, we want to, I'll probably change that there. Of course, we change the color, but the goal is to see if we can actually attempt to, um, you know, keep everything as is. You know, we made it. It's already there. We just uh, put them in different locations, you know. So I can see, um... I can see yes. no we got to do that differently yeah we want to do that differently all right so let's see here let's see what else we can do um let's go ahead and get some paint and let's get some grunginess and let's kind of dirty this um dirty this spot up a little more so we'll take something like the light colors and we'll make sure that um, we have a layer over the yellow. And um, let's like pick a darker part of the color. And just, um, just come and add some noise, you know what I mean? We're we'll add some noise, you see. So now we really, you know, it it, it, it loses the, the look of, you know, nice, beautiful satin. Um, now it's kind of just, you know, texture. It's just an interesting texture. So you want to be able to do different things like that um, so that you can always have a variety of uh, looks. You know, you always have a var variety of looks. Um... So let's blow this up. All right. And whenever you see it start to always knock the edges off, you see the edges coming in. All right. All right. And uh, maybe um, let me put some other textures in there. So um, let me put some let me put some white texture. Turn this around, lay it on his back. 
kind of, kind of. Oh, this need to go above. Sorry about that. This should go above the text layer. And then we simply erase what we don't want. And um, kind of just, you know, kind of just dirty and splashing things up. Let's get some black or some brown and just um, undo that. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is before we go further, <clears throat> I'm going to make sure that all of these elements is really um, aligned according to how they should be aligned. Sorry about that, draw. So usually I can just, um, you know, hold control and select these layers regardless of where they're located. But it seems like it's not letting me do that now. And maybe because this text folder is in the way. Let me move that. Right. Hold on, I gotta start over. Sorry about that. All right, so DJ Finks, uh, bang time, big. Oh, see, it's, okay. You see what it's doing? Okay. So for some reason, and, and you literally just saw me do it. And I apologize for that. Um, normally you can just uh, hold shift, hold control shift and select it. And it was, it was selected no matter what layer it's on. But now it's um, kind of just, uh, you know, doing it different. So what I'm going to do is kind of just for now, for the, you know, sake of moving forward. I'm going to adjust them manually. Okay, so I'll tell you guys what. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pause this for a second. Now, I'm just going to finish this out. I'm just gonna manually do it one at a time, and um, I'm gonna do some research and find out how it allowed me the first time, but it wouldn't allow me the second time. But um, I really want this to lean. Um, in particular, you know, in a particular way. So, um, so I'll just be patient and do it one at a time.
All right, trying to touch this black paint. It's not letting me. Okay, we get to it. Don't worry about it. All right. And then let's get this fun font here. It's giving me a hard time. There we go. Okay, and um, that's much better. The angling is uh, much better. Um, this can be tilted according to, and I know I just stretched it, but it's okay. So yeah, after a while, uh, after your layers start, uh, you know, piling up, things like that, uh, you're going to start having issues with, um, with you know, touching the wrong layer. But you'll get used to it. And, um, you know, you're always, you end up working, you know, finding a workaround. All right. So we got all of the angling um, properly done. Sometimes you might need to just click away from the um from the font and then click back to it to get you know where you're trying to get to all right so what we're going to do here is add some contrast to these fonts so let's just select them and turn them black so we can have some reading contrast and we'll do the same thing for for wings click away click back click away click back And then we'll make that black too. And um, let's uh, move it down. And don't worry about not seeing it because I'll go in here and just erase that background there. Matter of fact, let me do that right now. Oh, we got this paint here. So let me go ahead and make some space for wings. And uh, party and fun. Okay. And then we can take our sponsors. Okay. Sometimes you got to just move these things out the way <clears throat> so you can get to where you need to get to. All right, let's go and add um, some other elements in here to add some other dimensions so we can put some more um, text there. So, yeah, I'm going to kind of add this space there and go and get another paintbrush. And this is going to be uh, specifically to add um, some more textual elements. So let's make sure that we ain't tilt that to where that matches the flow of where everything is going. Okay, something like that. Okay, that's good. And um, then maybe we can bring up the event flyer. And uh, let's see, girls free. 
and probably um, here let's do this because you kind of always kind of want to just go kind of back and forth with different uh, design elements but maintaining the theme right so we shrink this and we just kind of put that across like so um and then what other what other little elements we might can kind of find in there and try to make them feel like well i really don't know the structure you don't really want them to know the structure of um you know how you how you got the design going you know like what is the structure how did they how how did they you know um put that together you know what elements was there what wasn't you know you kind of want to have them like in that type of space head space let's get a black Mm -hmm. and uh, and we almost got them we almost got them done alright and um, let's kind of deal with these here you know they shouldn't be um, red it's really throwing the whole flyer off all together And uh, what, something that, that I'm not liking about that in particular, and we're gonna have to fix that. Here, let's do this. So we got 26 May and Saturday. All right. First of all, let's shrink them down. Okay. Um, got something a little better here. And uh, let's um, yeah. draw them close and shrink it down. Uh, let's make the top the same size as the May. Oops. Sorry. And um, that should be it. So he's saying basically, shh, shh, don't tell nobody really the date, you know. So that's what he's saying. Don't really tell people the date. And uh, let's try a different font. I'm not completely satisfied with that one. All right, that might be okay if everything is capital May. And um, Saturday. So it seems like we got some balances uh, off a little. Okay, great, great. No, that's not great. That's not great at all. That was very wrong. Okay, that. No, no. That those fonts are not simply not working. Hold on. <clears throat> Let 
let me do something. Something is not working here, right? So we don't want the we don't want this looking quirky like it is. So we're just gonna start completely over, right? Let's do that. Uh, apply, delete. We're just gonna start over completely. Okay, so let's first of all, let's bring this down to something reasonable, like, uh, I don't know, 30 maybe. Smaller than 30, 14. Okay, and then let's take it off this front because this front is really screwing everything up. So we say the 26 May, all right, and on Saturday. Now, now, let's make that auto and let's make this zero. Okay, now let's manually adjust this. Better, much better. And then let's uh, tighten it up. Okay, now we're on to something. Now let's say the next bold. We actually can get it a little bolder than that. And let's shrink it down. All right. Excellent. Much better. Now we can give it a color, which will be white. And store you over here and make sure that you really fall in line with the big fonts so we're not going to try to make you fall in line with fall in line with him we want you to fall in line with the fonts because it's going to be visible all right let's make you a little big so it's still looking off balance but not necessarily because it's because of him not because of the words necessarily but we'll strike a balance there we go <clears throat> okay and um, now we maybe address this all right and now uh, let's make it big and to add a little bit of flavor and movement And kind of drop it behind his head. Yes. All right, not that far. Okay. And and then uh, let's rasterize it, right? And then uh, go get our little eraser brush and kind of beat it up a little bit. So we will. Um, A lot of ways we can beat it up. Let me try this one first. Okay, and um, then maybe, maybe we can um, break it up with. Here. Okay. That's uh all right, that's good. Alright, and then we have um this last little piece here that we can do something with. Um you know. Really is nowhere really to put this here. I'll um here we can chop that up. And then down do it like so. And um we can adjust it and blow it up. So this will be some important, you know, supplement, supplementary content, you know, information. Yes. Dance 
test. I don't know. And, um, you know, might as well tilt it. You know, had a whole thing kind of going the same direction, you know. I'll go back this up a little bit. All right, and um, kind of, kind of get a little popping like that. Now let's kind of put some contrast on a few things like that. Kind of take a step back, see what we're working with here, and um, kind of take it from there. We can put the Remy Ma. We can put all them things like up there. Up, you know, sponsors up there. Sponsors, Remy and Nat. And, um, and that's about it. Um, we could put some other information down here. This look like that need a little bit more tilting down it. Yeah. Just like that. Okay, and um, I'm kind of just making sure that everything have a proper balance here. Um, Yeah, something like that. And I know I said put the yellow, but that just adds a little bit more dynam dynamic range to it. You know, trains in the background and all that. And uh, let's see here, let's kind of give it some texture. So we give it some texture by, let's select the plate and then erase it with paint. See that? Have a little fun with it like that. All right, and that is, um, gonna, oh, you know what? A few more things real quick. Cause I see, I see some things that can really be addressed here. Um, we need a little bit more, uh, harmonial balance so one of the things that I would like to do is we got to get some white in there got to balance a few things out not like that it's too much white but you get the picture so let's um, get a shrink game going on here and uh, get some things popping see if we can get that happening and um, you know, maybe DJ Spinks and um, kind of just get a little spray thing going on there, right? Get some paint going on right there. And um, you don't want to use too much, you really, really, really want to have um, a variety, you know, as much variety as possible. So that's a good thing here. A little splash is there, you know. Let them know that, uh, you know, you really, you're doing all this on purpose. Um, right, and you got to be really careful when you're using um, this, something like this with the edge. You really can't move it when you're stacking it up. You know, okay, that's pretty good. And um, maybe a paint stroke or two 
or do a decent job. Let's see. Yeah, that's good. Um, maybe here. And then there. And, um, I don't know. Something like so. And uh, last but not least, let's um, copy and paste the, um, you know, QR code on there. I put a lot of them on flyers now, so. So you gotta do your part. Offer that to them, sell it to them, you know. However you wanna do it. So I'm just gonna be a spot for it. And then uh, we can finalize this. And let me um, actually put some layers of dirt on top of the. Actually, did I remove some? Yeah, I did. We got to put some more layers of um, dirt and grind on over top of everything, the text and all. And then um, we put some sparkles on it. Then we're done. Sparkles. Always got to put sparkles on it. All right. Um. Maybe we can do some brown. Yes. Um, let's try, let's kind of just try some dots here. And since we're gonna do the dots, let's put them down here. Like up above that. Something like that, yeah. And we kind of giving it, uh, you know, giving it a tied in look. We kind of tying it in. And um, let's um, this here. That was supposed to be over the text, idiot. Okay, there we go. I'll erase that. All right, then we get a little bit of that. And then let me erase what we don't need. And we can, so you got a little line there. Go ahead and keep that there. Cause we got a little, little busy, little craziness going on. And then uh, let's make our final layer up top. Drag it above the text floor and um, get, make it a little near dodge. And then we start popping it with some glow. So, we pick something. Um, let's uh, try this one first. So that glow is, um, it always give it its own little, little thing, you know? You know, it always, it always makes something authentic. It almost kind of put like a film, you know, like a, like a true serious film look over it. Is it film or film? Film, film. You know, my code got me talking crazy, so I apologize for that. All right. And uh, there you have it. We have a little happy little thing going on there, as Bob Ross would say. And uh, let's see here. Shrink some things down. Blow some things, yeah. Let's make some things glow, yeah. Yep, 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 yep. 
That's how you do that there, son. Do your thing. Play it. Do your thing. Okay, fam. So, uh, that really uh, finalizes this. It wraps it up. Uh, ooh, that was too much. You know, you gotta, you gotta remember, we gotta keep contrast. So, uh, let's keep that in mind. Alright, so, anyway, this is the big homie splash bash mash party. And um, this is just, of course, one of many different styles and directions that you can go. I hope you benefited from this and liked it this one. And if you, hopefully, you was able to ignore the cloggy, clogginess of my nose. And, um, you know, we kind of piling in some tutorials. So, you know, I don't know if you're going to be hearing this, um, you know, more and more. But, uh, you know, like I said. We got to get this information in. We got to get this knowledge in. The summer is rolling around. School is out. Um, you got to get this uh, information under your belt because there's a graduations party to get done. There's um, weddings to be done. Um, unfortunately, funerals is bound to happen. You know, and you just want to be able to, you know, have all your skills, you know, all wrapped up, ready to go. Get that work. All right, fam, I hope you benefited from this. I hope you enjoyed it. And um, just stay tuned because we got a lot more where this comes from. So until the next time, I'll see you in a minute. I'll see you when I spin it. Thank you for watching. Peace.